Welcome to the Force Tutorials Maya Masterclass. In today's video, we are going to discuss how to customize Maya. Now to customize Maya, you need to go to your preference menu. There are two ways you can access your preference menu. You can go to your windows, uh, settings and preferences to your preferences. And the other way you can access the preferences panel is the animation preferences button down here. It will by default open the timeline preferences, but you can access all the settings from up here. From here, you can change how Maya looks completely. You can go to your interface. The first option you have up here is your toolkit selection tool, which is the same as we had up here. And below that, you have a button to show or hide your menu bar. So if you're comfortable with the hotbox that we discussed in the last video, you can disable that. You can also show or hide the menu bar in the viewports or the toolbar inside the viewport. Now below the interface, we have our UI elements. In the UI elements, you can show or hide the status line, which is our shortcuts bar up here. Or you can choose to show or hide the shelf. Or if you're not using certain aspects of the software, like you are not animating or you don't want to use the range slider or the you are not scripting, you can hide all of those things. And now you have more room to work with when you're modeling. Now let's go to the help section. When I change our view mode in the viewport, uh, for example, let's go to the wireframe mode. You can see there's a message that shows up. If we disable this option, messages and tips like this will stop showing up. Now below that is our pop-up help. Now you might have noticed that when we hover over an icon, this little message shows up, which tells us what that icon is or what it does. If we disable this option, that message will no longer show up. Here from the interface menu, you can completely change how Maya looks and you can customize it according to your workflow. Now there are a lot of things you can change up here, like the animation settings, the time slider settings and the camera settings. And there are a lot of settings in the preferences menu that you can go through as you start learning more about the software. But one thing you should do right now is go to your undo tab and make that infinite. So you can go back as much as you want when you're working on a file. You are no longer limited to 50 undos or 100 undos. If you made a mistake like 200 steps back, you can go back and fix it. You don't have to load a save that you made probably an hour or two hours ago. So this is one thing that everybody should do. Uh, set your undos to infinite and press save. There is another way that you can customize Maya that might help you a lot. Uh, you can go to your display and you can go to your heads up display here you have a lot of options like for example you can go to your object details and turn that on and this will give you information about the object that you have selected right now if we select let's say this stone it will give us it will tell you its distance from the camera that is very helpful when you're trying to set up depth of field it will tell you if it's in a layer it will tell you if it has smoothness applied or not uh, another thing you can turn on from the heads up display is the poly count. Now poly count will give you the information about how many vertexes, how many edges, how many faces, how many triangles there are in the object that you have selected right now. This also can be helpful. We are going to turn those off for right now. So these are a few ways you can customize your Maya interface. So if you're just modeling, you probably don't need the timeline, the range slider and the command line. You can disable those if you're just modeling. And if you want to keep those around, you can do that also. And if you're very comfortable with the hotbox, you probably don't need the menu bar up there. All in all, Maya is a very customizable software. You can mold it in any way according to your needs and your workflow. So that's it for today. And as always, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, drop a like, leave a comment. And if you want to support me directly and buy some cool things that I made, link to my merch store and my Patreon is in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.